My favorite aspect of the SOCH program is probably the, the teachers and the relationship you have with the teachers. Um, I, I know I had Wilson for both my SOCH 100 and SOCH 200 and I just feel like even though I was in this huge uh, lecture hall, I just felt like you still had that personal interaction with her. Uh, you could always stop by and talk to her after class. And now that I'm in smaller classes, um, we always talk about things that all the students want to talk about. If we're doing a research project for like class, we talk about things that matter to us, what we actually want to research. And I think that's important, especially in sociology where you have to research and you don't want to do research on things you don't care about. Uh, my favorite aspect of the sociology department and program uh, is how personal you get with your professors. Um, every professor that I've had throughout the three years I've been in the program, they've all known my name, they've all known something about me. Um, oftentimes they know where I'm from even. Um, specifically Professor Wozniak, uh, he's a fantastic uh, professor, fantastic guy. Um, he takes a really big interest in uh, his students and that's why I really continue to take his classes but that can be said for all of the sociology professors that I've dealt with. My favorite class is actually right now sociological research methods because I think that's the most exciting part about SOCH is doing research projects and that's actually my honors course right now so I'm doing an extra research project on top of that and I think it's the most interesting thing to dive into an issue that you've always thought about and understand like what's going on, understand reasons why it's happening, um, ways to help it. Um, and that class is actually so interesting because there's only like 12 people in the class. My favorite class by far was um, Sociology 333, um, contemporary, er, yeah, classical theory, sorry, um, with, with Badeshi. Um, very difficult class, very difficult professor. However, um, it definitely made me a much better sociologist and a much better student overall. Um, he's extremely demanding, however, he's very reasonable and he definitely takes the time to take you under his wing um, in a sense and educate you on the proper way to write and theorize about um, different aspects of sociology. Everyone is usually interested in the same things, so like the discussion we have is so interesting. Um, we all have the same like outlook, but um, we all we all have different experiences and I think that's why our discussions are so interesting because yes, we look at it from a sociological standpoint, but because we come from such different places, we, we see things differently. Oddly enough, I am uh, planning on pursuing a career in law enforcement um, later on down the road. I might um, also look into grad, graduate school for college student personnel, which uh, might seem like a far stretch for somebody that is a sociology major, however, um, both fields in both aspects of that, you have to deal with people, you have to understand people, um, and that's why I do enjoy sociology, studying people and society, and both of those play very much so into sociology. Um, right now the plan is to get my master's in sociology, and then I want to own my own women's center for domestic violence and sexual assault, um, which sometimes people are like, why are you majoring in sociology? That doesn't really seem to match. but um, in sociology, you learn the issues of people and groups of people. And at a women's center, you get all groups of people. You don't just get white women. You don't just get African-American women. You get all of them. And each woman, depending on their background, has uh, different issues in society, different issues that they face. And sociology focuses on all of them. So. I think it's gonna help me a lot to know all the issues going in to just living as a woman without abuse and then adding that abuse onto it and just knowing the issues that they face every day. My favorite story through, through my sociology experience, um, I kind of touched on it earlier with uh, Professor Wozniak. I've had two or three classes with him now um, and then one day he pulled me aside, he's like, hey Zach, um, I'd like you to come to my office after this if you can. I was like, oh crap, wonder like, what I do wrong. Um, but it was nothing like that. He just wanted to talk to me and he's like, I really um, see a lot of potential with you. Um, and I like to pick a student or two here and there and mentor them, help them out, um, be a positive reference for them. And that really meant a lot to me. Um, he's, like I said, a fantastic guy. But the fact that he's a department chair, took time out of his day, not only to teach a class, but to reach out to a student and 
explain to them that he does see a potential in that student and that he wants to help. Um, I've never had that from any other professor, I've never had that from any other teacher for that matter in any of my schooling. Um, so it really meant a lot that somebody high up in a department um, and somebody that I really do look up to would do that for me. I just had a meeting with uh, the integrated program for um, sociology to get your master's in five years, which saves money, saves time, which is amazing. Um, so I'm super excited for that. Um, and then I'm also doing a honors project about uh, rape and sexual assault victims and their experience with the police and medical personnel um, early intervention and see if uh, we can improve that in the Macomb area. So. The major of sociology is not, it's not easy. Um, it's certainly something that does take a lot of work. Um, as I said earlier, I've spent about 20 hours this weekend just reading um, for a paper that was due. And um, however frustrating it is at times, um, it's equally rewarding. You learn a tremendous amount of uh, knowledge and the professors all be very challenging. Um, they're very caring and they do want you to succeed. They're not gonna put you in a position where you can't do something. Um, and if you have something pop up, um, an exigent circumstance or whatever it might be, they're all extremely understanding um, and they're willing to work with you. I think that's the one adjective I'd use to describe, um, or one phrase I'd describe the department with. Um, all the professors I've worked with are extremely understanding um, of any kind of conflicts I've had and they're very willing to work with you.